Welcome, friends. It's your old pal, Sir Nigel, here with the continuation of our adventure in Maniac Mansion. How about a little sweet intro? In the previous episode, we got Dave stuck in the dungeon, which is pretty much where he'll stay for the rest of the game. We got Sid into the library with a whole lot of stuff in his inventory. And Bernard is still just hanging around outside, so it's time to bring Bernard into action. We can use some of his electronic skills to start working on puzzles. So we'll bring Bernard into the mansion. The door has been conveniently left open. Thank you, door. The first thing we should do with Bernard is pick up the tube right here from this old radio because we need it later. See, Sid couldn't pick it up. He didn't know how, but Bernard can pick it right up. So the next thing we need to do is look at the phone. I can't remember if we need a special tool in order to fix the phone or not, but we'll take a look at it. And here's our old buddy, Sid. Hey, Sid, how you doing? Fix phone with, I f yeah, I, I think we do need, well, obviously we need a tool. We need to fix the phone with something. I'm trying to remember what you can fix it with. There might be a screwdriver somewhere in the game. Obviously we can't fix it with the radio tube. I need some tools or something. So... Yeah, you need to pick up some tools somewhere. So now we'll take Bernard and go exploring. After we give him the flashlight, I think. Let's do that. Switch over to Sid. Give flashlight to Bernard. And give old batteries to Bernard. Switch back over to Bernard and continue our adventure. We would have Sid sit in that nice, big, overstuffed, comfy chair, except uh, you can't. You can't use the chair. So he's just going to stand there. That's what he does. Although that, that does make me wonder something. We'll, we'll, we'll put Bernard back in this room. We'll switch back to Sid. Because if you remember from the previous episode, and if you don't, you should go back and watch it, we found a cassette tape in this loose panel here. Right there. Does it say anything on it? There's nothing to read on it. So, I think we should take our cassette tape and put it in the player in the other room, because I can't remember if there's anything on it or not. I know how you can get something on it, but I can't remember if it starts off with anything on it. So, open the cabinet door, use cassette tape in cassette player. Now you can see it's in there, that little graphic. And turn on the cassette player. Oh, how you doing, cassette player? You're looking really nice. It's blank. Okay. 
then pick up the cassette tape and we'll hold on to that and fiddle with it later. I, I know what we need to do with it. So new kid back to Bernard. And upstairs we go. We can explore this area a little bit. By the way, you can turn off these lamps if you want to. See, there's one. Still light, because one of them's still on. There's one on the other side here. And now it's dark and oh, so spooky. I actually haven't played around too much with turning off the lamps, even though I've played this game a lot before. So if you turn off the lamps and then have one of the other characters come down, like you ring the doorbell or something, so one of the, the other characters comes down through this area, I can't remember if having the light off does anything or not. Anyhow, we'll just turn them back on. And we'll turn them both back on just for the sake of completeness. So here is a beautiful room, work of art type room that is a room for making works of art. What is? Bowl of wax fruit. Paintbrush, paint remover, easel, crate, dried purple slime, sketch. And that's everything you can interact with in this room. There's nothing to read on it. Let's pick up the dried purple slime. I'm not going to touch that slime. I don't think you can open the crate. In fact, I know you can't. Doesn't seem to open. Read easel. There's nothing to read on it. Can't use the easel. But you can see this lovely painting here. How detailed. How wonderful. So pick up the paint remover. And the paint brush. And the bowl of waxed fruit. And this uh, platform it was sitting on apparently is nothing. Use paint brush. Use paint brush. Right. We could try to use the paint remover on the painting here, but I think that might be a waste of it because I believe there's another use for that friendly paint remover later. We'll go to this other room on the other side and find out what we can find. The music room here has a nice vase, a piano. Of course, we at Bernard can't use the piano. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. I can't play that thing. And we can't pick up the vase. I'd better not. It's obviously a valuable antique. So here, do the old what is game. Piano, vase, we know about that. A Victrola and a cassette recorder. So a Victrola is obviously a record player. Old record is here, speaker, and TV. So we'll pick up the old record. You can't use the speaker, I don't think, but you can use the TV. Three guys who publish anything. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians, and game designers. I'm Mark Eater, and my company will publish anything. J 
just mail it to the address shown below. Don't forget the stamp. We can use the old record on the Victrola and turn on the Victrola. And it just plays some lovely music over and over again. Oh, it's beautiful. Pick the record back up. And this is an area we're going to need to uh, bring what's his face, Sid. So let's just park Bernard kind of out of the way over here. Come on, Bernard, just, just pull up a chair over there. Very good. Switch back to Sid and head back up to the piano room. Now, Sid is a musician, so one would assume that he knows what to do with a piano. And this is one thing you can use the blank cassette for. Because remember, this is a cassette recorder here. So use cassette tape in cassette recorder. Turn on cassette recorder. Okay, it's recording. And then use piano. Oh, yes. So beautiful! And now turn off the cassette recorder. And that little bit of loveliness is now on the tape. I think, let's see, what did, what does Bernard have again? I think we can actually just leave Bernard in this room for now and continue on exploring with Sid as we continue our adventures through the mansion. I'm trying to think, no, no, let's, let's just, let's, let's just continue on with Bernard like we originally thought. We'll just leave Sid right there for now. We know where he is, so we can get him again later if we need to. Oh, lovely statuary. Read plaque on statue. S'y trouve uh, un volet à rouler poste de Or something along those lines. So we have the plaque on the statue, the statue itself, doorways. Can we read the statue? Maybe there's a plaque somewhere. Yeah, you think? Maybe, uh, I don't think we can do anything with the statue. It's too heavy to move. That could possibly be a hint for something else that you can do in the game. We'll have to take a look at that later. But for now, into the first room. A dark room. Now you can use the flashlight here if you want. But again, I don't really want to use up the battery. Just in case we can use it somewhere else for something more interesting. So what is... Sort of sneak around... There's a lot of stuff for the what is to find. There it is. Desk lamp. Right about... Where'd it go? Right here. Desk lamp. So 
So turn on. Turn on the blackboard. Desk lamp. Yes. There we go. No need for the flashlight here. So look at all this stuff. We have the desk, the desk lamp, mail the med diploma, docs R us diploma, blackboard, examination table, medical chart. A real skeleton. And a medical cabinet. And you know, the thing is, this skeleton doesn't look nearly as spooky as the one in the dungeon. Oh, that's scary! So let's look at some of the items here. Read mail a med diploma. Presented to Dr. Fred. Read Docs R Us diploma. Degree for mummifying and bandaging. Read Blackboard. It looks like formulas describing the structure of a meteor. That's strange. Open the desk. And here's a drawer. Pick up manuscript. Read manuscript. It looks like someone's memoir. But the writing is terrible. It's written by a meteor. How strange. Read the chart. Yuck, that's disgusting. And open the cabinet. It must require a special key. And I don't immediately remember where you get that key from. Oh, well, on to the exploration. Continuing said exploration. Lovely picture. So, this is an arcade room. A quick bit of interesting trivia. In the sequel to this game, uh, Maniac Mansion Day of the Tentacle, they still have the arcade room, but one of the games in the arcade room is the Maniac Mansion game. And you can play it, and it will... Uh, it will allow you to play the full first version of Maniac Mansion. So the full first version, the, the, the full first game of Maniac Mansion is inside the sequel. So exploring here, we have a Star Wars poster. I guess that's relevant again, isn't it? Air hockey table, coin boxes, and video games. Video games! Read Star Wars poster. Now keep in mind, this game is a LucasArts game, though at the time it was still called a LucasFilm. So it's, you know, the same company that did Star Wars. A LucasFilm limited production. I don't think we can pick it up. I can't pick that up. Use air hockey table. This game is broken. And we still need some tools. Fix it with the paintbrush, damn Mr. Bernard! That doesn't seem to work. So we have a variety of video games here. But... They're not powered on. I think it's on, but there's no power, so you can't play the games. You know, it's funny because back when I originally played this game, it seemed like sort of an odd thing for someone to have their own arcade room full of arcade cabinets. But these days, considering collecting retro games and retro arcade games is so popular it wouldn't be an unusual thing for someone to have their own arcade room like that. They would just be an arcade collector.
Oh, what's that sound? Aye! And then he automatically runs away. So there's nothing else you can do with Bernard at that point. So we'll stick him out of the way in this room, just in case one of the denizens of the mansion comes down the stairs. And we'll switch back to Sid and go pick up the wax fruit from Bernard. The fruit of waxiness. Made of wax, to be specific. Oh, no, wait, Bernard's here. That's right. Bernard is in this room here. New kid, Bernard. Okay, let's give the old... No, let's give... No, let's give... Okay, give. Let's just give all this stuff to Sid. We'll keep the radio tube. Give the old record to Sid. And the bowl of wax fruit. I think we'll just keep the radio tube and the manuscript and the flashlight and the old batteries. And up we go! Sid's not so bothered by the whole thing. You can't pass until you feed me! Oomph! Oomph! So the green tentacle doesn't want to know what you're doing there. He's rather unconcerned with your presence. He just wants to be fed. So... Give the old rotting turkey to the green tentacle. Thanks, more food! Give tentacle chow to green tentacle. Thanks, more food! Give weak old roast to green tentacle. Thanks, more food! Give canned goods to green tentacle. Thanks, more food! Give broken bottles of ketchup to green tentacle. Thanks, more food! Give a bowl of wax fruit to green tentacle. Wow, my favorite! That's what I wanted! Now I'm thirsty. Give fruit drinks to Green Tentacle. Thanks! I think if you give the Green Tentacle the wax fruit first thing, then you don't have to give him all the other stuff, but I don't know if there's actually a use for the other stuff in the rest of the game, so I don't know if it matters that you hang on to it or not. Another room to explore. That's dark. I can't... There should be a light in here somewhere. Desk, developer tray, file drawers, door, and larger. So obviously, it's a dark room for developing photography. So I don't know that we want to turn the light on yet. I wonder if we can find... A red light. In fact, I don't even know if there is a light in here. This might be where you need to use the flashlight. I think there might not be a way around using the flashlight uh, in this room. Like, can we open the file drawers in the dark? They're locked. Well, I guess they're locked. We'll explore this room again later. Notice the green tentacle has disappeared. Up to the third level we go. Oh, we should say hi to the plant. Hello, plant. What is lovely plant? Read, lovely plant. There's nothing to read on the lovely plant, but that's okay. 
There's nothing to read on it. Use lovely plant that doesn't seem to work. Push lovely plant, pull lovely plant. Can we use the water with the lovely plant? That doesn't seem to work at all. Okay. That's fine. We just had to say hello to the lovely plant and be friendly. Being friendly is good. Here's the first room with a variety of interesting things in it, which we will explore in just a moment. Let's see, there's a dime, which can be used, well, where you might normally use dimes. So we'll pick that up. And... What is a radio, a wanted poster, a picture of Nurse Edna, and a bed? Push the bed. I can't move it. Use bed. That doesn't seem to work, yeah. Read the picture of Nurse Edna. There's nothing to read on it. Read the wanted poster. Wanted for terrible acts of violence. One murderous purple slimy meteor. If found, call 0525. Use radio. It's not turned on. Turn it on. I can't get it to work. Well, I know someone who might be able to do that named Bernard. But in the meantime, here's a ladder. And this is where we will call it an episode for this episode of Adventures in Maniac Mansion. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, follow, uh, like, subscribe, all those things, depending on where you're watching this. And tune in again next time for more adventures in Maniac Mansion.